everyone. It's Michelle. Thank you so much for being here. I have missed you guys. I just want to give you a big, big hug. I feel like I have not filmed in a hot minute. And it has been probably two weeks since I have sat here in my little beauty room and filmed and talked to you guys. So I have missed you all. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, today I wanted to come on and show you what I bought my shopping haul for my girls weekend. I don't know if you missed it, but last week I posted a kind of a flea market girls weekend vlog and I will go ahead and link it up above for you to see it if you miss it. But what we did, I went with my friend Laura and we went to Magnolia in Waco, Texas and then we went to Round Top, Texas for a weekend full of vintage shopping, antique shopping, just shopping in general. Um, and we had so much fun. I, I bought so much stuff. Oh my gosh. You know what, I've, I always say I could go to Home Depot and find something to buy. I love shopping and you know what, when it's just girl time, it makes it all the more better. So if you would like to see what I picked up, then let's get started, keep on watching. All right, so yes, let's talk about my blonde lock, shall we? I got my hair done, I think it's a been about now two weeks, and wow. I said I wanted to take it blonde, and this is pretty blonde. You know what, I'm like looking at myself in the monitor, my eyebrows look so damn dark now. I guess I need to adjust my eyebrow pencil, but we're just going to not go there. I have to go shopping for an eyebrow pencil. Darn. Anyways, um, I wanted to show you what I got. We had so much fun. The first stop we went to was Magnolia in Waco. And if you guys have not watched or seen the show Fixer Upper with Chip and Joanna Gaines, I mean, you got to check it out. It's on HDTV. And they do a show, it's a 30 minute show, um, basically taking rundown houses and fixing them up, kind of re-renovating them, redoing them. And Joanna, who's the decorator, she is just known for her farmhouse kind of vintage look. And so what they've done, they have taken these silos in Waco, Texas, and converted them into this amazing shopping experience. And you know what? It has turned into this massive, like, tourist attraction. There are people from all over the country that come in to shop at this place. It's, it's crazy. I mean, you know, Baylor uh, University is there in Waco. I mean, Waco is like an hour, probably an hour and a half away from me, and there's never really been much out in Waco until now. I mean, it is so funny. Traffic is crazy. There are people everywhere, all because of this one location. So anyways, had a really good time in, um, in Waco. We stopped there on the way, and uh, we just had a blast. So the one thing that I did pick up that I am absolutely in love with are these earrings. I think these are so pretty. They're made of brass. I just think that they look so just simple and I love just, you know, kind of pairing them with anything casual. You can probably dress them up. I think they're kind of really kind of cool, simple, classic looking. So I ended up getting these. I didn't buy a whole lot because Laura and I had actually gone um, back in February or March and we got a lot of stuff then. So actually this, um, this little cake stand that I had my perfumes on, I got that there when we went earlier this year and I just, I love it so much. So the other thing that I picked up while we were at Magnolia was a t-shirt. My daughter wanted a t-shirt. This is Chip and Joanna Gaines. Um, this is what I got in the bag. I don't know if you guys recognize them, like I said, but, uh, you know, that was in the bag as a thank you. I bought this shirt. My daughter wanted a t-shirt. They have probably 20 or 30 different t-shirts to, to choose from. I got her this one. I thought that was really, really, really cute. Definitely just an experience to go and hang out there. They have, like I said, they have a huge shop that you can go shop in for home goods and furniture. Then they have a whole bakery, which they are known for these amazing pastries. We, of course, went there and bought cookies and cupcakes and all sorts of things we probably shouldn't have, but we did. We had a great time. And then they have a whole outdoor area. It's so cool. They have like all these food trucks 
that you can go and eat lunch or get a snack. And then they have kind of like a, a covered sitting area that you can go hang out on picnic benches and socialize. And then they have this open grass area that you can play with your kids. They've got swings. They've got like these little beanbag chairs you can just go hang out. It's, it's a really cool, relaxed experience. So if you guys are ever in the Waco area and want to check it out, I highly, highly recommend it. So after we went to Waco, we drove another, I think, like two or three hours to Round Top, Texas. And Round Top is known for their twice a year flea market. Basically, it is a citywide flea market. They have vendors from all over the, the country. I, you know, I've even heard international come in and sell their goods here. They have all these tents set up. I mean, it is shopping heaven and you know what it is? Most of it is outside. They have like these huge tents, so it does get kind of warm. You do need some uh, bug spray because, you know, we're like walking in all these fields, but it was just so fun. I love the whole, you know, just experience of hunting and picking and you never know what you're going to find. And we definitely saw some amazing, amazing pieces, antiques and just things blast from the past. Things are like, oh my gosh, you know, I saw um, those little fur rabbit keychains and these Dick and Jane books. I mean, just things that I'm like, oh my God, I totally remember these. So it was so fun. They do have one store, it's called Leftovers, and it is more of a high-end store, but they sell all this really kind of high-end furniture and um just housewares and they have a whole apothecary area. They just, they have it all, but it's kind of that farmhouse vintage look, but really nice stuff. So that's where we're gonna start. I went to Leftovers, we went to Leftovers, and let me show you what I got. So they have a whole food section that they have like this special kitchen that they make all these sauces and I mean, just amazing stuff. I got this um, Salsa Verde Tomatilla White Chocolate Sauce. I've already used it. As you can tell, I just pulled it out of the refrigerator. I made chicken enchiladas with this. Oh my God, it's so good. You guys, this stuff is like homemade. You can tell it's just so, oh, so creamy and rich and amazing. The other thing I got food related is candied jalapenos and oh my gosh they had samples of these and I'm like oh yeah oh yeah candied jalapenos so it's a really sweet and spicy spicy jalapeno what you do I'm sure you can cook with it or whatever I'm not a big cooker what you can do though is put it over cream cheese and take crackers and dip it oh to die for I love this I wish I would have gotten a couple more jars but definitely have been enjoying these then in the same kitchen area i found this and i was like what the hell is that it looks like one of those scent bird perfume things but what it is it is from salt rocks that's the brand and it is a himalayan salt grinder look at that it is so cool so what you do is you put you unscrew it you put the salt particles in here and then this self grinds it I mean, amazing. I thought it was like the coolest invention ever. I was getting salt everywhere, just like I'm doing right now. This was $19.95. I didn't think it was that crazy, but it was just really unique and different. Um, they said you could put peppercorns in here, any kind of spices. So I thought this was really, really fun, really different, and I love it. So speaking of Himalayan salt, I found this again at Leftovers as well. Looks like it is from the same brand, Salt Rocks. These are the pink Himalayan salt bathing stones. <gasps> I was like, what is this? Again, just, you know, you saw really different, unique, um, just things that you don't normally find in, in any of the stores around here. So it just says for smooth and sensuous soft skin, um, you just put a couple of these in your bath and it's supposed to really soften the water. So I thought it was a great gift. If I may just end up keeping it for myself, I don't know. But this was $13.50 and I thought it was a really cool, unique thing. Another purchase from Leftovers are these cute, adorable earrings, you guys. The earrings are cute and all, but look at the flipping packaging. How awesome. It comes in this little bottle and there is like a little hook that is on top of the cork and they hang the earrings in there. Is that not like the most genius, unique way to package a product? 
I mean, adorable. I just had to buy it for this. I thought it would be a really cute gift too. These were $18.95, which I didn't think was crazy for a hand, uh, handmade earring, but um, I just thought they were really cute and I wanted to, uh, to get these. So as we were walking around, there was one store that was recommended to us. It was called Junk Gypsy. And I thought the name was so cute, but they said that it was a fun, you know, really fun kind of girly store to go in. They had clothes and jewelry and all sorts of stuff. So we stumbled upon there and oh my gosh, they have the coolest, coolest, most fun, unique things that um, I just fell in love with. There were so many cool shoes and clothes and home goods and jewelry. I mean, it was just like a shopping paradise for me. They had this shirt that I found there and I was like, this just kind of sums it up for me. This is just so cute. It says, do no harm, but take no bull. And that is so me. I say that to my kids all the time. I'm like, you know what? Be nice, but stand up for yourself. And I think that this just kind of summed it up. I love the saying. I think it's just kind of a cool, um, kind of a badass saying, but, you know, in a nice way. So I thought this was really cute. I loved the uh, the um, the Longhorn on here. I just thought it was kind of cool. This was, let's see, $34. So while we were at Junk Gypsy, we turned the corner, and I looked down at this table and I swear to God, I think I probably let out the biggest squeal ever. There were probably people that were like, is she okay? I looked on this table and they had these. These lip glosses from the 70s, from the 80s, I don't even remember. These were from my youth. These were things that I used to love and collect so much. These are these cute little rollerball lip potions. Oh my gosh, they had all the flavors. And then they had these cute little vintage tins. I mean, do you guys remember collecting these? I had every flavor. I, of course, you know, used to be obsessed way, way back when with makeup as well. I had all these flavors. All my friends had these. These were the coolest thing going. And I, I mean, it just really kind of threw me back to my youth. So, they, again, they had a whole, uh, a whole row of testers and when I opened these up and started smelling these I was like oh my god I mean seriously for those five minutes I was back in junior high they were amazing the smells just brought me back of course then I look at the price tag and that kind of all brought me back to reality these puppies were $8.50 each $8.50 I'm like um yeah they were probably $1.99 way back when but that was 30 years ago. Anyways, I bought these for just for fun. I think these are amazing. I don't know that I'm actually going to use them. I might. Who knows? I showed them to my daughter and she was like, yeah. And she was not really impressed. But I got the, the flavor Mighty Mint. The spearmint, the, the spearmint smell is just amazing. Then I got Crazy Cola. Then I got Cinnamon Stick. Of course, I had to get that one. And then I got bubble gum. I mean, bubble gum. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So for these little vintage lip licking lip balms, I got bubble gum in this too. Then I got root beer. Oh my gosh. And then I had to have watermelon. And then lastly, I have green apple. So I bought these. These actually were only five fifty dollars each. So... I just thought these were so fun. I I can't wait to play with them and you know maybe I'm going to have them on display. I don't know. I just I thought these were so fun and I couldn't pass them up. So those of you that have been with me for a while know my obsession with keys. Look at this. This is so cool. I saw this sitting. It was just like kind of out on a table somewhere. It is so heavy and it is like a real key. Some antique key. I wish I had, you know, the uh, the year or the history on it. I just thought this was the coolest thing ever. It was $5. And I'm like, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. But it is the coolest thing going. I'm so, so happy to have it. I just, I don't know. I love it. And then I found these as well. And these are little baby keys. Look at this. I... <laughs> She put it in the little true value baggie. I thought this, I, I thought the bag was cute as well. 
but I found little antique keys. I found this cute little lock. So I think I'm just going to put these, maybe make some earrings out of them or I don't know, make a necklace. I just thought these were so awesome. These were like a dollar each or something. And you know, for my obsession with keys and uh, just some quick, easy jewelry making things, I thought these were really, really awesome. So this next thing I have to show you, this came from the Paul Michael Company. They actually have a booth or a store out in Canton. So if you guys are from around the Dallas area, you may have gone to Canton. They have a store there as well. But I saw this and I thought, oh my God, what a cool, cool Christmas gift for my son. He also collects rocks. And I saw this and I thought, dang, that is awesome. So I found this. It was just sitting out and it is a beautiful, beautiful rock. I don't know what kind of rock it is. It doesn't say. I'm kind of looking at the the, uh, the tag here. I don't know what kind of rock it is, but it's beautiful. It was only $25. Look at the size of this. Can you see how amazing that is? He is going to flip his lid. <laughs> I mean, this is so cool. I love like the, the cool little details. They've got little holes. The sparkle is just beautiful in person. I think he is just going to love that. So again, for $25, I didn't think that was bad, but I just thought it was a really unique, kind of a, a really pretty piece that could look really nice in his room. So two more things. I had to save the best for last, of course. If you guys saw my vlog, you saw that I bought a vintage Louis Vuitton. This, you guys, just has my heart. It shouldn't, but it does. I'm so, so happy with this. This is the, um, I don't know how you say it, but it's, I think, Solange or Solone uh, style. It's S-O-L-O-G-N-E. It is a vintage Louis Vuitton. It is in perfect, perfect condition. There is a vendor that um, I saw actually last year when I was there, and she does all refurbished, and um, she resells uh, Louis Vuitton. That's all she does. Somebody had asked me if they could have her contact information. I will go ahead and list it down below. Um, I don't know that she has a website, but she says, Anytime you want or need anything, all you have to do is call her, email her, and um, she can find it for you. So definitely, definitely we'll leave the information down below in the description, but I just had to share this. I think this is the perfect size for a crossbody. Now I've got a couple Louis. I love them all. I actually had a Louis, um, I think I bought it last year or the year before, but it was too small. It was a crossbody, but I found it was too small for my needs. So with this, this could definitely, definitely hold a lot. And that's what I love. You know, me and my totes, I love the big old totes. So when I go somewhere and I just need just kind of a quick crossbody, I thought this was really good. I thought it was a great size. Again, perfect condition. Um, I did pay a lot for it, but definitely nowhere near buying it new. Um, again, I just thought for the quality, the condition that it was in, and I know that I could trust this lady. You know, sometimes when you go look on eBay or Poshmark, you kind of never know what you're going to get. This, I know that's totally authentic um, and uh, it's beautiful. So super, super happy with this. So last but not least, I want to share with you a really, really special find. Something that I was just completely, just instantly in love with. My friend found it for me and I just, I could not be more happy. I felt with the Louis Vuitton and this last piece made my entire trip complete. I'm like, okay, my life is complete. I found this beautiful antique handheld mirror and I saw this and I was instantly just instantly in love. I thought this was so beautiful and you guys, it was $12. It's a really heavy metal. Um, it is so pretty, the detail on it. There's cherubs. It is so amazing. I, I would love to know the history. Like who held this? Who used it? I would just love to know the history behind something like this. I think the detailing is gorgeous. I don't want to blind you guys by by having it um, head on, but 
I just, I was so happy with this purchase. I love it so much and you definitely will be seeing it in an upcoming video near you because I just, I'll be using this for years and years to come. So that does it for my vintage shopping haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know that this is something a little bit different than I normally do, but you know what? I just want to mix it up a little bit and share in my excitement with you. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment below. Always love hearing from you guys. Follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. I would love to hear from you there as well. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will talk to you. I'll see you in the next video.